It builds in obsolescence, it builds in certain downstream um, uh, supply chains and repair requirements, and it keeps people in the ecosystem. But it doesn't mean that you should do it that way. There's a, there's a, a laptop manufacturer in Canada who are giving people like Apple and uh, HP and, and other brands apply, where they say, okay, you don't like the GPU. It's been, you know, your laptop's now obsolete for whatever reason, because the GPU is not, not as fast as you want it. So you can take the thing apart. You can then ask for this component. It can be dropped back in. You can put it back together again. What do you do with the piece that's come out of it? So what they do is they say, oh, hang on a moment. You still got a perfectly good machine there. You could build this enclosure print this enclosure or buy this enclosure and put that component in there and now you've got two. So, so, so do you upgraded think it? modular, more modular design? I think so. For vehicles or anything? For vehicles, for absolutely anything. And, and also actually for, um, for AI. I think there is definitely a need to have distributed AI. I, I really don't like this idea of having one big supermodel because that leads to the, the world you were painting earlier about you know, the dystopian world. If that's the way we're going, then we'll, we're reducing tech to just four major players. They have a market monopoly and they drive everything. From a neutral point of view, that does not make sense. That does not make sense to you. It doesn't make sense to the industry. It's not how we innovate. We then close down innovation and we just go to whatever the four tell us to do.